HFF, that is High Frequency Fundamental. This is a material to help you understand that HFF is a high frequency, but it is safe and reliable. This is an agenda. I will explain in this order. Typically the reference clock sources, crystals and exos, are used along with a clock generation and distribution chip to obtain cleaner versions of the same or multiple higher or lower frequencies. As the communication technology evolve, 3G goes to 4G, 5G, optical 100G, 400G, Wi-Fi 80.11 BGN goes to ACAX etc., the need for higher frequencies grows. There are methods to reach higher frequencies. One third overtone this has issues like mode jumping, reliability, activity dip. Two saw exos, they are bulky and have poor temperature performance. Also, as the reference frequencies go higher, the multiplication factor needed to reach to higher target frequencies for the end applications, goes down, or remains same. This is helpful in reducing the phase noise degradation that is seen due to PLLs, phased lock loops. For 500 MHz fundamental, conventional crystals are fragile. HFF made by photolithographic processing. Then HFF has a strong structure against vibration and shock. For at cut crystals, the frequency depends inversely on the thickness of the crystal chip. This limits on how high we can go on the frequency as the crystal chip may not be strong enough if it gets too thin and may get damaged during assembly or operation. In HFF design, only the area of the crystal responsible for oscillation is made thin, the rest of the area remains as thick as in the case of the regular at cut crystal. Thus, we can go to much thinner crystal blanks allowing us to go to much higher frequencies. There are some kind of technology such as at cut, HFF structure, and saw for each frequency range. To concern 80 to 500 MHz range, there are two type of technologies, one is HFF and the other is third overtone. Epson applies HFF technology using its advantage. It is a comparison between the fundamental and the third overtone when the same oscillator circuit is used. Since the crystal impedance is different, the allowance for oscillation is also different. The fundamental has enough oscillation margin, but the third overtone is at risk. These are the data of SG3225EEN491.52 MHz shock and vibration test. The frequency change after each test is shown with the initial value before the test. These are tested beyond the standard test conditions, but there is no problem. Has excellent shock and vibration resistance even with a fundamental of 491.52 MHz. This chart shows the test data of phase noise during vibration. When add the vibration to the oscillator, that vibration frequencies are influenced to the phase noise performance. Our oscillators are less sensitive to vibration frequencies than competitors one. It achieves good performance by optimization of crystal shape and size. As a method of evaluating operating characteristics under vibration, there is G-sensitivity evaluation as in the case of phase noise evaluation under vibration on the previous page. We also perform simulations to optimize the crystal shape and size and improve the characteristics of G-sensitivity. HFF is manufactured by the photolithography process shown on the right. Advantage of photolithographic processing are Better control on crystal dimensions yields a more optimized design with low crystal impedance and high Q. Precise control over design dimensions resulting in optimized design and low part-to-part -part variation.
Optical inspection ensures quality control. Dimensions measured 100% in manufacturing. Dimensions deviation of photo process is better than mechanical process around one tenth. This table shows recommended products that use HFF. That's all. Thank you for your attention.